AD. And by AD, I mean Josh. Come on in. Let's start off with a the powder room that she believes she could and she fucking did. Come on in, Josh. So this is my one of my most recent projects. I was staying at Phuket's in New York, having a good little cry after the billboard that never was, and was so deeply inspired by the flooring that I decided to demo this front bathroom and, you know, just make it like a sexy kind of coke den head trip. So it all started, I bought these antique mirrored tiles like six months ago. Sometimes I see a material and it just speaks to me. And even if I have nowhere to put it, I will eventually find a place for it. So I just had like an obscene amount of these mirrored tiles and I thought, maybe I'll do a ceiling, maybe I'll do a closet, I don't know. But then it came to me. So we redid this. We are waiting on a black toilet. I don't want to hear any fucking feedback on it. Black toilets are very, very hard to find, especially when you need brass hardware with them. This floor is a, it's my favorite thing in the world. It's reminiscent of blue cheese. It's chaotic. It's laid in a herringbone form to make it even further chaotic. My guests have told me that this bathroom is a very safe, tranquil environment to do bowel movements because something about all the mixed materials, it just really works. We did white oak wainscoting to break up all of the chaos. We have like a soft pink ceiling in my favorite pink color. You've got like brass inlay details. It's all about the fucking details, okay? And she loves them. You like a custom napkin? You bet your ass she you fucking do. Next up, this is <laughs> my, this is my sanctuary. This is where I just let my hair down, foam at the mouth, yell at strangers via DM. This sofa is the first piece of furniture that we ever bought for this house. Full disclosure, I don't love it, but I got it at the Camarillo um, outlet, the Restoration Hardware Camarillo outlet, and it was peak pandemic and I had no access to furniture because everything was just so backordered. She was in stock, she believed she could, and she did. This is a cute little antique side table that I bought at an antique mart. The best part about it is that it has a drink tray with real gold, little gold leaf inlay, which we love. This is a vintage piece. This was my dead mother's painting. This I stole from Jennifer Lawrence's house. I do believe it was a wrap gift, not to blow her spot up, but um, I do believe it was a wrap gift from American Hustle and you're not getting it back. I did uh, shoplift it from her house. Bling ring, if you will. Um, this piece is from Kristen Giorgio, met her at a wedding. Most importantly, this is the world famous Anna Delvey prison sketch um, because I think it's important to support women <laughs> in prison. And this, a lot of people ask me, a lot of people, a lot of people, and I mean by a lot, three, um, about this piece of art. I am a DIY kind of gal, and a lot of times I will find artists on Etsy and if it's like a digital download or whatever, and then I get it blown up and stretched on a canvas. That's what I did here. I was going to take a Sharpie, close my eyes, have a cocktail, and like do a little scribble on the bottom so it looked like a really expensive piece of art. Still might do it, still need to frame it, but I think she's cool and I think she's a vibe. So that's just that. This is, this is not for shtick, this is real. This is my martini bell that I rang at about 7.13 um, every day. Sometimes a martini comes, if Andrew's not here, I just sit there ringing that bell, just ring, ring, ring. This is my piano. <laughs> That's Mary Had a Little Lamb. This is the only original thing in the house currently, this pink bar, which is perfection. And I'm going to redo it. You want to saunter over here? I'm a hostess with the mostess and I love to entertain. And this is our dining room. Andrew and I have never sat and ate here, but 
it's really a vibe and it really showcases better at night. These sconces were at a hotel I stayed in in Florence and I said, Como se dice these sconces? Wait, how do you say an end of the... This is why I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this. These sconces I love. I found them in Italy and then I asked where they got them and then I fucking bought them. Um, just, you know, design is all about intimate personal touches and really collecting things. This is Gigi Collins. She, I love her. My friend had one of her paintings in her office and I copied her. I'll say I'm right. Birkenstocks. I'm not sure if we got that in that last take. They're Celine and they're ugly. Josh never like noticed my custom registers. He never said anything. So I'm kind of kind of pissed about that. That's glam, guys. That's a that's a filter cover. Um we could just look at the kitchen very quickly. This is the kitchen. Walk quickly, Josh. Quick. Alex McCord could never. We have a slab leak, so I have to rip up two layers of flooring and move out, which is good because I kind of fucked up the flooring in here, so that's fine. Um, now I'm gonna take you into my boudoir. We're gonna do this very quickly because like most people don't show their bedrooms because it's not elegant or chic, it's in poor taste. But I'm poor and I have great taste, so let's go. <laughs> very quickly, very quickly, very quickly. New chairs, recovered. Pink tailing. Really fab, look at these sconces, to die for. Quick pan, quick pan, boom, and we're back, and we're back. This is, um, this is my, uh, what would I call this? A party pagoda? Um, eventually when we redo our yard in 17 years, also these are my new flooring samples. We're going for like a white, oh, maybe a little herringbone action, doesn't matter. Okay, um, this wallpaper is by Gracie Studio. There is no repeat, it is hand fucking painted and it is so fabulous. And if this house ever catches on fire, I will claw these walls out with my bio gel fingers and I will roll up this wallpaper and shove it inside of me and leave my family to burn alive because it's my favorite thing in the house. This light picture has to go. It's like way too on the nose. It doesn't work anymore. This is where we do guest interviews I and mean, they're far and few in between. This eventually will be like a pool house room. Obviously we have a television in every single room in this house. I counted yesterday. We have 14 TVs in this house, which is disgusting because God forbid we do anything without, you know, adult screen time. This is a stain from Whitney Cummings uh, hair, hair adhesive, what is it? She likes to spray her um, hair color in and we, I refuse to wash it because I just want her to be immortalized on this sofa. This is my dead father-in-law with dead birds, dead birds. much for this wildly uncomfortable home tour that I will surely regret and I would just like as a disclaimer to say don't try to break into my house because I've got some weird lasers and I've had I I have hardwired cameras so if you have one of those Wi-Fi cutters and you think that it's gonna like you know dismantle my security system you're dead fucking wrong thank you have a great day goodbye I'm gonna pretend to shut the door. Okay.